Hello, welcome to a new modern video. Today we are going to play Living End. I played this some weeks ago, but it was a pre-banning deck. So now I want to play this updated version. The main deck is more or less the same. I really, really like the idea of Troll of Kasatum. Like this card is amazing. Uh, it's a cool card to reanimate because like you cannot block it. So you will always win the race when you have it. And just ups our uh, black count for grief. Because one of the problems with even in the past is like you really, really, really didn't have that many black cards to go with your grief. And now we have a bit more with those trolls and they really add up. Apart from that, we have our fr uh, free interaction. Well, the grief is free interaction too. And just the wood cyclers that are mystery, waker, and river widener. And then generous ends and troll of Casandum. I really like this. I think it's very. I mean, these are bad, bad cyclers, but they they are good with your subtlety, grief, and frustration, of course. I really think this is a very clean decklist. I think this iteration of Living End is the best we have ever seen, especially because I think the the black cards, like the the land cyclers, make your deck super consistent. You always will have three mana on three. Not always, but you know. And just the the extra black cards just make it beautiful. In the cyborg, Leyline of Sanctity and Leyline of the Void. We just don't want to pay mana for our spells today. Apart from that, some anti enchantment hate, some endurance for the mirror, dumping matrix. This card is super cool. It's basically against Jaumoth, but I really, really like it and I think it's super cool. And Mystical Dispute because, well, we, it's a good card and we are constrained for of our cascade so yeah let's hope i really like living in so let's hope let's see how we do okay i would like to play first yes i mean we have two cyclers two cascade spells and a free interaction so yeah i will keep this one am i going to steal wraith now i think so because if we find fury we'll want to play it also i would like to know what to do with my block crypt Blood Crypt is just a way of Troll of Casadum getting a uh, red mana. For those of you wondering, that's why we play Blood Crypt. It, using, it wasn't in the deck before, but now, now you have a, because of Troll, you also have more swamps, which means you can hard cast your black cards, so it's pretty cool. Okay, this seems like a Mortite, I guess. If I, if I had to guess, I would say Mortite. I'm going to cycle this main phase just because I really want to know if I want to if I have to pay life for my lands or not. Not the greatest. Okay, so we are just missing green mana. Just it's very <laughs> a very relevant thing that we are missing green mana. But I think we're fine. It's not like we have the greatest graveyard anyway, so we don't really want to go like living end right now. Ooh, our opponent kept a one lander with bubble on the draw. Okay, uh, do I want to do this? I will do it in the end step, I guess. So we have protection. I mean, it's not the it's not the best, but like this is nine thirteen power versus an opponent on one land. I think we're fine. <clears throat> so let's go. It's going to be very hard for them to do anything. This is the power, right, of living end. Like, how can you interact with this? Well, with a counter spell. But if you only have one counter spell and I have four somnation backup, what are you doing? Oh, one thing I didn't touch on is like we are playing for four living ends, which is great. In this in this case, it's like when you draw one, well, at least you get to to have extra. Against blue decks is where you really need it. Against non-blue decks, we are going to probably take living ends out. Okay, I guess mystical disputes and endurances are good. I'm unsure about foundation breaker. Probably coming in because Chalice of the Void is so is everywhere right now. Oh, um, my teaser is. <laughs> I shouldn't use this teaser, I guess. It's very silly that I have to to be conscious of what teasers I use. Okay, so what to take out? Uh, like every card, every all the cards are fine versus them. I think curator is the best. I think subtlety really is not good. 
en this matchup. Ay, ah, the, the land cyclos are important. Mm, I can take out some river winders. Mm, mm, or maybe some steel raiders because our life total matters. And we expect to play slower games. So yeah. I don't want to take all the steel raids out because uh well we need a, a hefty amount of black cards. I'm going to change my teaser, be right back. Okay, this is way better. Uh so we have a bunch of cyclers. I'm going to keep this. Uh this is very weak to turn one Ragaban, but well, I mean almost every hand we have will be weak to that. Uh yeah, let's say go. We will try to be conscious about Blue Moon and play a play around that. But not much we can do. So this is usually how you lose. Uh turn one Ragaban creates a mana advantage that turns into multiple counter spells and that's how they can beat us. That plus the fact that now they have extra um, I will say it, they have extra a uh, cheap counters, extra fluster storms and so on. So it's harder to beat them now. Okay, say you not really what we wanted. I don't mind it. I'm not taking life. Not not paying any life there. It's nice. We are going to play like um a sort of uh mid range plan with that endurance and probably we go go like endurance into creator mysteries. And it's very hard because usually they take out their their removal. So if you land a creature, it's hard to take it out. Like it's a very interest, interesting dynamic, I think. Mr. Rainforest is gone, and now they can use their mana. Assuming that they have some form of uh, counter spells in hand. So as I said, I will just go like in, in your turn endurance, try to block. Mystical Dispute, very nice. Okay, can I draw? Uh, we'll play Stomping Run, I guess. We'll try to play Endurance, try to block. If they don't allow us to block, which would make sense, we will go for Curator of Mysteries in our turn. And just keep going from there. Our life total is plummeting. But it is what it is. I am going to save the Mystical Dispute to, to try and, and protect our living ends. You see, like, now, that's one less counter spell, so it's not trivial for them to counter our creatures. Also, Flash Storm, Sword Pierce, that, those kind of things that they will probably have, don't really work. I'm just going to play the Curator Mysteries here. Another counter spell, mystical dispute, okay. We're getting very low on life, which I don't love. But at this point, there's not much else we can do. Okay. We haven't found a cascader yet, and we and one of the ooh, that's a second living end gone. That's interesting. If we ever get on a, a couple of fights and lose them, we will have no more living ends to give up. This looks like a Murtide to me. That's a problem. Huh. Okay, what now? Architects of Will. So the problem is that I need a blocker, but also need a I think we have to go for the for the living end here. Okay, we found one. Should I do it now? They have less mana up. Problem is Flusterstorm beats us. That's undeniable. We, we cannot beat a Flusterstorm. But I think we are dying if we don't go now for it. Uh, if this general sent was a Troll of Cathadun, I think we win here. Okay, I imagine this is going to be Flusterstorm or Spell Pierce and we are done. Okay, spell pierce I can mystical dispute back and this would be any other counter spell. That's what I, I was saying, right? The 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 mana advantage from Ragaban is just way too much. Well also like we were very slow, this is turn five. Maybe our hand sucked, I don't know. 
Mm, on the draw, do we want to change anything? The foundation breaker sucks because we didn't see. The thing is, we don't know if they have Charlie's of the Void or not. Maybe they don't. Maybe on the play, I'd rather ha be faster with the street race. It's very the dynamic play draw of course is so different because you put them in a spot where they cannot really um tap out this hand is not good it's not terrible either it just needs like a blue a blue land for strip river winder i'm going to grief turn one just in case we we hit a ragaban that's the whole idea Usually you want to keep your griefs until you get to you want to, to combo off. But look at this hand. We, we take a, the Ragavan and now they are in a very tough spot. And we know about that force of negation. So we know to play around it. With the Delta. Let's see how this one lander pans out for them. Pure rain, of course. If we find a blue land, we are fine. We can start cycling and just keep it going. Okay, they found that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That wasn't the blue land I wanted. The thing is, like, we have we play fifteen lands and six land cyclers. It's just a ton. Okay, preordain is fine. I don't know what they are doing with it. Oh, here I don't like this. Zero top, two bottom. Okay. And I miss as well. Well, we just need to find land drops and soon, I guess. The, I did say that we are not missing land drops with this new build, and here we are missing land drops. Ah, so okay. Well, the only thing, the new thing about that draw is that uh, we can go for the um, to use the force of negation if we need it with it. I'm going to force of negation this one. I don't want them getting ahead with it. Uh, uh, uh. Also, they, they may miss a land drop there. Wait, they didn't, but okay. You know what? Now I'm going to play the Sarlas Agent. Kind of make them have it. Now I want a, a blue red land. Ah, we have a blue red land. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I'm going to make them have it here. Also, playing the Sarlas Agent is interesting because they have to. They cannot attack with Ragavan if you have a Sarlas Agent. Oh, they have the Spell Pierce? Suck. That sucks. Well, we have. Two more living ends in our deck. Let's see if we find them. Express Fitration again. Okay. That spell piece was really rough. Uh, of course, what we wanted is for them to have to, to use the Force of Negation exiling a card. Uh, I'm going to cycle River Winder first. Okay. Now. We are in a bit of we are in trouble because well we know they have the force of negation but also like they have lightning bolt and a dragon race channeler it's going to be a fast clock the only thing that's interesting here we're going face okay is that if we get a blue land they may not have an answer for creator of mysteries and it's a 4 4 which is gigantic and they probably don't have unholy hit usually how I, how I cyborg with the, with that deck versus this one is I take out unholy hits because what you want to do is stop the things on the stack, basically. Okay, this is going to be way too late, I think. Going to attack. But I think that Creator of Mysteries is going to be one turn too late. We really need the lander rather than the control. I mean, they have three cards in hand. They may legit have like Flusterstorm, Spell Pierce, for some negation, you know. Even Lightning Ball, like if they have Lightning Ball, we're fine. So let me try this. Come on, work. 
No, no con dos spell. Mmm, Mystical Dispute. No, bueno, es Anoim. Ok. No, I don't want to pay three for that. I can't. Ok. Attacking here, I guess. We could keep back for a potential dash Ragavan. But I don't think we're winning regardless. If that's the play. But maybe maybe I just left my myself led to it. Okay. Usually uh Mortite only plays three lightning balls nowadays, so they have already used one, but they have four cards in hand, we know one. Hmm. Come on. Okay. Do you have Ooh, interesting. You didn't have it. That isn't bad, actually. But we can't hard cast it, so I'm going to put it to the bottom. No. Is this a holy hit? They left the holy hits in. That's so interesting. Okay, now we are done. <laughs> Do you have a grief? So I'm going to cast it because why not? So if I had cycle first, uh, we will have won, right? Well, not I don't know if won, but if I had cycle first, we will have drawn the grief. I will have resolved the creator mysteries, attack with the Sarless agent because I know their hand, get them down to five. They have to attack. With they have to attack with their Sarless, I block. Oh, shoot. I lost that game. Yeah. Yeah, so have cycle first. I don't know what I wanted to do, like represent Mystical Dispute or something, but if we had Mystical Dispute, like, they had to play their counter spell if they had it anyway, so representing Mystical Dispute made no sense. So yeah, so have cycle first, hit the Reef, use it, clean, clean the way, of that unholy hit which they had and have my 4-4 beat their 3-3 then I attack them down to 5 they play another drown right channeler I have to keep my 4-4 back to block withdraw the second grief say go and they have to find a, another unholy hit or another lightning bolt yeah. Kahira so this is blue white control which is traditionally a very bad matchup Depends on how many chalice they are playing main deck, of course. Let's see. I would like to keep the Tawana in hand just because of the existence of chalices. Ah, Union is, is hard. But cycling before playing the thing wasn't hard. Okay, what are we doing? Consider Lorian Reveal. Oh, okay, of course, of course. We are not the only ones that play land cyclers. Okay, untapped. I was thinking that technically. Ah, no, no, no. I, I, I was going to say Rhinos can play Kahira, but. <clears throat> that makes your Sarless agent unplayable. I'm going to wait Water Grave here because we may have to go to our uh, Harkas Grief at some point. So, yeah. Here. Start with the Stomping, stomping Round. Oh, so have taken a, a Blue Land, I guess. Well, it's, it's fine. It's fine because what we're going to do is cycle Creator Mysteries and cycle Generous End which we actually wanted to do anyway. Okay. The thing with Livy is like, the jig is up super fast, right? Like, oh, what are they playing? Well, we are obviously playing Livy But also, our opponent may have no moves. I think we cycle the land cycler first, and then the curator. I imagine that's the right order here. And yeah. 
so they usually don't play like spell pierce and so on and to get our run to cycle this they may play saddle team in deck that kind of that that fits with the with the Kahuya. okay uh i guess i have to go for it like still wait here and see what's what's up They have multiple counter spells, that sucks. Okay. Subtlety evoking evoked with counter spell. Huh. Should I just put it on top and replay it next turn? M maybe? If they are if they are pitching counter spell, they have another one, right? I'm, I'm going to cycle first, see what I draw. And depending on what we draw, because I'm not going to play the Sarles here. Oh, another Wreath. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to keep it on top so I can pitch it next turn. Top. Mm, play this. Say go. Just think, the only reasons, the only reason you can beat Blue Decks is Wreath. Like without Wreath, like, you are dead to double counter spells. Of course, you can always go like in your turn, blind an outburst in my turn, Sarles Agent or whatever, but still. No, 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 this is a Teferi. No, what is this? Yes, it's Teferi. Okay, it's fine, we have the Tawara. So it's totally fine. We could also hard cast Grief. Is that better than Tawara? You know, I think so. I, I think so, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think this may be better than Tawara. Okay. What do you have? You have a Solitude? Counter spell solitude the one ring. Uh, I'm going to take counter spell and keep going. Now we, we can attack. Yeah, I think this was better than, than playing the Tawara. Okay, plus in. Just going to go grief, grief. It's the second grief what made me think that this was better than Notawara. Maybe I'm wrong. Now I'm kind of committed to that plan. This is Leyland Mining, okay. Maybe I'm crazy and I should have just gone Ottawa instead of Ottawa and tap, scam the grief, scam the grief, evoke the grief. Okay, a silent supreme verdict. Good, 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 good. Now they have no resources. We are not in a terrible spot, I don't think. Like they have three lands, no resources. If they draw counter spell, that would be an oh shoot. <laughs> okay, I was going to say if they draw counter spell it would be annoying, but that's way more annoying. Okay, that was a good top deck. That's seven mana, that's too much. Uh, we have Oseju in our deck, so let's find out Oseju. My problem with bouncing Teferi with Otawara is that... No, I, I, I don't know, I got, maybe I got too cute, hardcasting the Griefs. Like they are good value and all, but 
Ya me llego too, way too cute. Blue, 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 island, island. Creator. No island. They only have three lands for now. The ferry and Chalice of the Void main deck. That's way too much. But I did have the answer for the way. So if I had just gone like bounce your the ferry grief that would have worked, right? <laughs> because they have they've never found the fourth mana in the fourth land. So even though they had the ring and then the super murdered, it would have worked. He most surely have another counter spell in hand. Okay, drawing. Island. Oh, señor, señor. <laughs> I'm going to suspend that. Who knows? It may work. So our plan is to find a Boseiju in time for that living end. So we will before living end comes out, we will end step with Aguara de Teferi and Boseiju the Chalice. We play living we put living end on the stack. They counter it because they have a counter spell. And then we play our Sardless or Violent Albus and try to win with that. Now they have found the one ring is going to be way harder. We really need them need them to, to miss Landros there. Okay, can I get a Boseyu? Yeah I can. I'm skillful. I don't want to do the to suspend another living end because then they can just let the second one resolve and that sucks. So let's pass the turn here, I guess. We have a plan that falls to double counter spell. But apart from that. Oh, we need an, another land. If we draw another land, we win? Well, we, I mean, win. We don't win, we resolve a living end, which is something. If we find another land, we have a chance. Come on, land, land, untap land. Come on, untap land. Come on, architects of will. Code it. I'm going to cycle this. We really needed a land there. No! Uh oh, that's a problem. That's like the worst draw in our whole deck. And I'm going to discard it. What's going on? Harka Solitude? Okay. That's fine. We have a plan, but we are missing one land for it to really, really work. Because with six lands, we will have gone Otawara Chalice, Otawara Oseyu, kill the Chalice, and then untap and have double violent outburst. Now we just fold to a counter spell. Well, to double counter spell, I guess. They have six cards in hand, which is a lot. And the ring, if they want more la more cards, so... I don't think we are winning this, but... Who knows? First step. Bounce Teferino. Good thing they cannot really interact with the lands, so that part 
is root. Now upkeep with the living and trigger on the stack, do this. Now we try to resolve the living end. And maybe it works, but you know what's going to happen, right? Like it's going to work and they're going to superinvert it because they have the Teferi effect. So they can superinvert it if they want. And we're going to die to that. Or they may have a counter spell. The problem with counter spell is we have drawn our living end. Oh, yeah, this totally sounds like. Super embedded to me. I'm going to look at my top cards because I would like to find a Griff. They're going to exile something. They're going to exile their own subtlety to gain life. What? That's weird. I mean, it's not weird if you intend. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it seems weird to me. To be first, seems weird to me. Okay, Griff on top. Griff would be nice. Troll of Casandum. I guess Troll is better than drawing a land. So. Those. There are the lands we needed. Uh, well, Troll is better than drawing a land. Do, do we have more? More swamps in our deck? Do we even? Maybe we don't. Okay, that resolves. I think I should buy an outburst now because I don't want to draw that troll or those lands. Like, if they have counter spell or in their turn they have another verdict, we are done. Well, let's try it. This is our last living end. We could have waited until their turn so they are more tapped out with the when they play the ferry. But I don't think it's going to change. Okay, now they have double solitude coming in. And we have a lot of of foods with the general sense. That's the, their second super inverted. I I don't know how many they play, but if they don't play more than two, okay, they are exiling their own solitude. The only reason you do that is because you have more super inverted, right? It has to be that. I don't think we're winning this. Are you styling both your solitudes? Interesting. Technically, I can suspend another living. End. Okay, I can just or will or will myself. That's a reef on top. Okay. Let's draw the grief and see if it resolves. So, like, I imagine they have super murder, that's why I didn't let them, didn't keep them. Mm. I will subtlety or subtlety. I'm very interested in this grief resolving. <laughs> oh my god, are we going to win this game? That would be unbelievable. How many super members do they play? Maybe they play three, maybe they play four. Maybe they only play two and we are here doing a idiota. Okay. What's impressive to me is they have seen more than 30 cards and only two counter spells. 
one in the graveyard, one in a side. Okay. Looking at your hand now. What do you have for us? Okay, there's no... What on earth? They want to Teferi their one ring? That's it? It's not that like we can beat that. So I take one Teferi. I guess. So no super verdict. Then why did the Solitudes exile themselves? Rather than exiling my general sense. Am I missing something? I don't understand. Maybe they assume their only out is to find another verdict? And in that case, they don't care about the solitudes? Okay, Teferi. I don't know what's going on. Also, maybe I should have hit the solitude because I don't know how our opponent is going to win without the solitudes. Okay, I'll replay in the ring. Yeah, that's fine. And we win. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. Maybe my opponent just realized they have. If they don't have more super verdicts, they cannot beat this board. That's. Oh my god, they conceded the, the round. They are supposed to be the, the non fun deck. They have Chalice and. I have no idea. But I think that was a pretty cool game. Which we beat Teferi and Chalice and Super Verdict Instant Speed. And yeah, that was a very cool game actually. Okay, having a Sarless Agent in, in hand is great. Having only one Cycler and two living ends, I don't think it's that great, so I'm going to Mulligan. And I'm going to Mulligan again. And I'm going to keep this and bottom that. And probably bottom the Force of Negation or the Waker. Nah, the Force of Negation. We, we need the Waker to have like. Right, like we're on a mulligan to five. We cannot afford force of negating stuff. Oh, also force of negation wouldn't be very good against Jaumoth. So Jaumoth is an interesting matchup. It's usually game one should be very good, but if they either get a Jaumoth in play or have main deck endurance and can find it, that will suck. That's a super fun game from the well, super fun. <laughs> For me, it was super fun. I don't know if Nasif agrees, but there's a super fun game. Nasif versus Serk, the legendary Jaumoth player from Magic Online in the Pro Tour Lord of the Rings. I think it's the first constructed round, round four. And it's like Nasif goes for it with Living End, and Serk just starts drawing cards. And in the last possible one, he finds Endurance and wins. <laughs> so that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, we are in a spot. It's not terrible. Jamoth is very annoying, but it's more annoying if they sacrifice real creatures, not insect tokens. Wall of Roots, we can beat. Also, having Byron and Outburst rather than Charles means that we have some little, a bit more play. Because we can wait uh, until they put something on the stack and so on. We do need the third land here, which we don't have. Waker of Waves is very good because oh, that's the third land. I, I love it. I love it. Like we spent two mana and we got our land and another creature on the graveyard. It's like double cycling. It's wonderful. I think I'm going to wait here. I, I don't want them to untap. Like I don't want to go like leaving in and they untap. Use Greased, everything. Yeah, of course, they can use Greased and hit something good. But I think we're fine like this. So I would really like to... If they put a Jaumoth on the stack, I'm playing my... Oh, okay. I'm playing my Living End now. That's good enough for me to play Living End. I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it makes sense waiting here. Like they just exile one of our thing, one of our things. Oh, maybe I should have waited until they activated the Agatha Sol Caldon. Hmm, I didn't realize that. Okay, endurance? No. 
No, no, no. Not fair. Okay, I don't think we can win now. <laughs> I think legit. I think there's zero chance we win this game. Yeah, totally should have waited until the activation of the Atasol Caldron. Now they just rebuild. I mean, we are going to rebuild too, but slowly. Okay, land means I don't need to use the, my Genocent right away. So let's wait. I mean, we can overpower the Caldron. Especially if we find a uh, living end with the. Uh, with our cyclers. Like, if we go. Now we go like Genocent, Riverwinder, Waker. They can. Uh, with the Waker, we find another good thing. That could be enough. They only have two cards left in hand. That's not a lot. So that's two. Uh, that's attacking for three. Let's get basic forest here because our life total is under attack and basic island. I don't think there's anything better than a strip river winder to cycle if we find with the waker of waves. So I'm going to do this. Okay, second waker of waves. That's actually very good. Like very, very good. We find living in and Troll of Casadun. I guess I'm going to take the living in because I'd rather have the, the extra creatures in the graveyard right away. Now we untap, cycle the Waker of Waves, and that's it. We don't fight. I think we, if we don't fight in the Cascade spell here, we lose. We found Subtlety and another Troll. Uh, Yeah, we'll keep the subtlety, I guess. We could have suspended living in, but I mean, our graveyard is gigantic. Oh, they didn't activate the Atasol Caldron? Are we dead? Three. This is plus two damage. So we're not dead, right? I mean, we're not dead yet. We, we, may, we may die right now, but. I don't think we are dead. They can activate the Soul Cauldron. Exile. Yeah, that. Why, why didn't they do that? Last turn. Would have been an extra damage. Oh, because they are respecting that we may have violent arbors. Sure. Then why do it now? I, I don't understand. I, I don't think that was right for our opponent. Uh... Otawara. I'm going to Otawara the Grist so we don't die. No, we die we die to the insect token, right? So I have to Otawara the insect token. Also I will play the block script here. You know Otawara in the insect token really keeps us alive. So that's not terrible. Maybe we are dead. Oh, we're dead. Shoot. Oh, I should have... No, I should have subtlety that. Okay, okay, they have more creatures. They can attack with more creatures. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I subtlety, like, they just attack. I subtlety that, they attack, I block here. One, two, three, minus two, five. Yeah, yeah, there was nothing I could do. Okay, I mean, they we moved to five and they had the endurance, so that was a lot. I mean, that big matrix. I'm not sure if I want. I don't, I don't know what I want, how I want to cyborg here. But this is why I don't want the force of negations. Maybe I want ley line of sanctity. It seems better that, like, without the endurance, they will have kind of a hard time beating us, I think. 
so maybe grief sucks in this matchup so we can take those out subtlety seems very good and we have taken a bunch of what lucas out i think ley line of the void has to be decent in this matchup and i could bring in at least foundation breaker is good versus Atas or Galdron. Okay. Let's try something like this. Dumpy Matrix is so good. Versus them. <laughs> Classic hand. I'm going to keep. Is there any reason to cycle now? I don't think there is. Totally, I will cycle the troll first because I don't want to, to draw... Um, I don't want to draw uh, whatever land I'm searching for. I will search for a blood crypt. Okay, that's fine. Street Wreath is very cool because it's zero mana cycler, so you can just really surprise them. Of course, that was on top. Now I'm cycling because I may find a cycler here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Okay. I'm dead to my oh my god uh, oh. uh, I, I didn't play this right did I I don't know how so I should have played it but this doesn't feel right they're attacking with a one two that's all they have do we have a filtering <laughs> land for white no we don't Hmm. That's good. That's good because it's a blue card for subtlety. So I will keep it. And this is a very weird game. We are going to die to a 1 and 2. This is going to happen. Oh, we are going to die to that. Yeah. Shit. Should I cycle in response? I think so, right? have the basic forest in hand that sucks take the reading pool here and I will fetch for uh, another breeding pool I suppose okay so we need our cascade spell but also we need a blue card for subtlety because I assume they have an endurance. Hmm, Bow Bowmaster is not as good, right? Because we have all the land cyclers. Oh, okay. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the most obvious core of calling in history. They should go for it like now, I think. If they core of calling for endurance right now, we're done. They have reached the same conclusion, I think. Maybe I should have played this like way more patiently. Yeah, I was too hasty. Cycling and stuff. Yeah. Okay, on the play now. Let's have a solid hand. This is a wonderful hand. We just, I mean, we are missing our cascade spell. Yes, I think it's good. I'm not going to cycle troll because I want to find a cascade spell and I hope to find my third land also with the random draws. Is this scam? Yeah, this is scam. Scam is supposed to be a very bad matchup. I don't know if that's true, but it's what it's supposed to be. Good thing here. I'm going to. I'm going to cycle the troll now. I changed my mind. Force them to to take one of the others. That's fine. They will take Limenen and probably Waker because Waker is great for us. And take Blood Crypt. So the reason scam is very bad, of course, is the well the scam turn one like we're seeing now. We'll take our Cascade spells if we have them. Oh, I should have taken the 
what a grave so I can double double cycle well I, I don't need to double cycle because they chose not to take our cycler I'm going to cycle this main phase and this because maybe if I find a blue land we found grief I'm going to use grief here because if they have a Douthi, we need to get Douthi. Well, we need to get Douthi. How does that work? So Douthi is awesome, but if it's in the graveyard, they get access to a living end. So we need Douthi to be alive. Oh shit, right? We, we need Douthi. Douthi has to be alive. When we, if we play living end with Douthi alive, we are fine. So I don't want to, to discard the Douthi. I'm going to discard the Fable, in that case. We just need to find a Cascade. Like, if we find a, a Sable Sage in here, we're fine, I think. Like, maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this was right. Now, the problem of taking Fable over Lightning Bolt is that they can Lightning Bolt their own Doughty. The reason I did it... Ah, okay, the problem is, if they end up with Doughty, they can just sacrifice it. That's it. They can just sacrifice it and they they can do the thing. So we need to find violent outburst. Okay, now we know their hand. If we find violent outburst here, I think we're fine. Maybe I'm wrong. I think we are. Come on, violent outburst. Come on, violent. That's not violent outburst. And we are dead, right? 4, 3, yeah. Okay. Okay, how to cyber versus them? One ley line or sanity so we cannot get scammed or discarded in general. And that's about it. We can take out one living end versus a non blue matchup. I guess subtlety is fine. I, I don't guess we won for some negations actually. They may play lay, their own ley lines. S sometimes they do. So I'm going to do like this. Okay. So scam is supposed to be the reason why this deck doesn't work. This hand is very good actually. Because like scam beats you. <laughs> just, just beats you. I'm going to do nothing here, pass. If they try to scam us, I will cycle my street race to find a blue card for subtlety. Okay. I will... No, I'm not going to do that. Taking out of, like, psych... Thinning our deck is fine, but we may find a... Well, we only have blue cyclers, right? Can I get a blue land? A blue card? Yes, I can. Okay, they exile Orchis Bowmasters. I'm going to take basic forest because blue moon. No. I imagine they will keep that on top. On bottom, okay? Interesting. Um, sure, that's fine. So they kept it on the bottom, why? They don't want to do it again? Don't they have a, a black card? But now if they go like, wow, cling to dust. I wasn't expecting that. We just violent here, right? I wait, I guess. I see no reason to violent main phase. If they put something on the stack, like that Douthi, since we have the subtlety, we want to do this. Okay, we win. 
problem is on the draw, because on the draw they always get to play Douthy before. And at that point, we're screwed. Mm, uh, this is a good hand. We have the subtlety for the turn one scam. We have Foundation Breaker if they have Leyline. If they don't have Leyline, Foundation Breaker sucks. Ragavan is the only good draw versus us. That's good too, I guess. It's not as good, no. <sighs> they can take the subtlety. They took the grief. Interesting. What do they want to protect? Okay. If they go. If this is a Douthy, I, ha I have to subtlety that, right? Cannot let Douthy resolve. I will cycle this since we already have troll. Grief? Huh. I make grief here. Take the last card. They, they did take Necromancia, wow. Okay, that explains why they took the grief. Uh, let me see what they did with Douthy. They put Douthy on top. So there's their next place, Douthy. We want to play this and try to draw our thing. Uh, I think Foundation Breaker is fine in hand. Okay, so another way to beat Douthy is with instant speed, I guess. So they cannot replay. Come on, now, now. If we draw now, like right now the the thing I have to cycle that right the problem is cycling means my cards go to waste that's why Douth is amazing but if I don't find a cascade spell I cannot kill Douthy and I cannot get rid of it so yeah maybe we need this member <laughs> to kill Douthy okay Good thing is they only have Douthy. That's their whole clock. Douthy. Bad thing is they can draw something good now. Okay, they are not tapping out, which makes sense. Oh my god, these ley lines. I understand why we want them, but we're getting very punished by them. Orchis Bow Mastery, no. Now we cannot really cycle. Well, we can cycle like land cyclers. Yeah, jokes on you, my hand sucks. So that grief does nothing. They should start attacking, but maybe, yeah, maybe there's no reason on earth to tap that Douthy. Do we have enough to kill them if we go end step? Do I have to just play this now? I think so. So I think so. At least we get rid of the bone masters and their clock. So now they sacrifice the Douthy. Get it into the graveyard. Now. I mean they, they could have not done it before because in that case we could have chose chosen not to play the living end. Okay, now they play Grief. We have our Griefs too. But we have the architects of will. Which is not terrible. Do we want to architect them or us? Okay, what I want to do is architect you and subtlety my Sarles. So I can do it all over again. I guess that works. And hopefully put something back, but Top the Sarles. Okay, I want them to have. I mean, I don't want them to have this because this beats us like a straight up beats us. Uh, you can have Fable. 
si es scary Vale, you can have fever Now we have a better, a better board than they do So we win the race If they don't use that Douthi Problem is every card If we have a card that dies Well it gets exiled I'm not blocking Now they, they do the Douthi thing and we're in the same spot as before? No. Yes, because now when we play the... We're just stuck in a time loop, right? Do it this. So now I can do the same play. Get rid of the tokens. But it's the same. I, I don't think I'm, ma I'm making forward progress. I'm not even getting to attack. So maybe I don't. So I, I don't want to subtlety myself, right? Like I did before. So I, I make no progress doing that. Wait, why why is it oh the Douth is dead now? The Douth is dead. Yeah, yeah, because it, it they couldn't sacrifice it in response. Oh, now, now, yes, 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 sorry, 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 I, I got, I was assuming that Douthi is, was there, but Douthi is there. Okay, so now we have a chance. I'm going to put Bowmasters the last, not the after all, and Beran Catacombs. Okay, now, now, we... Uh, we have a chance now, right? I mean, we are, I think we win now. Their hand is not dead after all. If they attack, we attack back for lethal. If they don't attack, doesn't really matter. They block the 3-3 three, three and take 11. I mean, 11 is not lethal. It is not nothing. They go down to three and then subtlety is lethal and their next draw is Orkis Bowmaster which doesn't do enough. Why block the Sarless Agent rather than the Architects of Will? Uh, I don't know. We, we know that their last draw is not enough. We have a flyer. Ooh, we managed to beat Douthi with the subtlety. Awesome. We are broken. We have beaten Douthi, we have beaten... Teferi, we have beaten Chalice of the Void with Teferi. We have lost to my own incompetence <laughs> and to Endurance. Okay, <laughs> let's go for the last one. Okay, here we go for the last round. Let's get that sweet 3 2. And yes, like, how am I going to mulligan a hand like this? So maybe I should mulligan more aggressively. But this seems like a wonderful hand to me. We have Force of Negation to stop Senanigans and. Like, this is not like rhinos that you really really need to cascade on turn 3 Okay, we are going to really really need to cascade on turn 3 because it's strong But apart from that, we're fine Also we have the Boseyu Mmm, mmm, sexy Boseyu Oh yeah Boseyu gonna do some work Perfect Now we can Boseyu guilt free This was traditionally a bad matchup for, for us because, uh, well, they can go over the top and so on, but now I think with all the free uh, force of vigors and also like the Boseyu, it has to be fine at least. Ooh, also that. Mm, yeah, I'm going to Boseyu in the draw step. The, the lane Tron here seems like a good idea. I could also wait on um, Harkas Force of Negation. Okay, let's do that. Let's hard cast for some edition. If something like a Gunkoil engine, that would be annoying. If you know you are playing against Living End, you could go like not draw, like on the draw. Like just go for. Uh, I don't care about that. Go for this card. This card step. I, oh, I care about that one. 
we are not playing it okay we know what they have they have warping wheel like the most obvious warping wheel in the uh, in history okay but we're fine we, because we drew violent outburst very skillfully so we are very fine let me find grief grief would be awesome they not a here the only card i don't want to see is the one ring we have all the rest covered now when they play the relic we go for our violent outbursts and uh, force on evasion the warping wheel they have spent their whole turn their whole turn and we just win going to use Subtlety, I think, because we may need the waker waves to find something. Okay, that, that resolves. Architect you and architect me. We just want another force of navigation. Or this is lethal 10, 14, 17, 22. Perfect. Tron, Tron, Tron. Mm. This is mana value already? Okay. Uh, I guess Foundation Breaker and Force of Vigor has to be what we want. But I like our main deck, actually. So, taking one Divilen is fine. But yeah, we, we need those because they how they beat us is they chain one rings and then like kill everything with a um, stone and then play car and that kind of stuff so yeah from this this we need this i will take out a couple of cyclers i guess and like a random troll okay wonderful hand grief is great um since we are on the draw we are going to wait on grief like if we were on the play we could Grief Tomb 1, so we may we may find a Relic of Progenitus but being on the draw, if I imagine they will play Relic of Progenitus if they had it so yeah, we'll wait until our turn 2 for that okay go Now I'll, I imagine they will play second troll land and try to set up for a turn 3 powerful play. I'm going to cycle our troll of Kathadun. Or overground tom. Okay, fine. Architects of Will. That's nice. I'm going to grief using Steel Wraith and use waker away because i want to try and find um for some negation with the waker and that's why we need the architects a stone of eric and the one ring uh, i guess you can get the one ring that's fine i just don't want you to excite my graveyard the one ring is a bit worse if it gets like the one ring really needs the protection I believe for it to, to really work. Also, since we have violent outburst and grief, we are probably going to play violent outburst on their draw steps and grief them there. I may try to find the force of negation regardless. Um, let's take the street wraith and cycle it and please do not draw more living ends okay you get protection from everything please don't find a relic no 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 oh, okay got super punished uh got super punished for that waker of waves we have waited of course 
Mm, sugar panis. Let me cycle now, try to find... Ah, there, there it was. There it was. Okay, your go. Wow, we were super, super panis there. Now we have to rebuild, which you can do. The problem with Tron is you get the time, they will do powerful stuff. And we don't want that to happen to us. Um, so had I waited, I would have been fine. Sphere is fine. I want to cycle these Architects of Will, but also I don't want to cycle these Architects of Will because it's my only blue card I don't know what to do there Ah, huh. interesting I do play subtlety, so let's try and find one No subtlety for us Okay, Mongrel Engine is very good for obvious reasons, that reason being, oh, come on again? <laughs> is every card we need on top of the deck, where they cannot discard it? So yeah, when Mongrel Engine dies, leaves tokens behind, and the tokens just beat you. Like, you can beat the tokens with a wood graveyard, but our graveyard got exiled in case you didn't notice. So we have six, which is not that many, that much life, and they have a million mana, which is also not not great for us. And I think I'm going to concede. I'm not beating this. Like I, I could force that, but yeah. Okay. Uh, on the play, much better. Just go faster. Maybe dumping matrix is fine. As now that I realized. Technically, it's a Stony Silence effect, which are wood versus them. This is a great hand. Let's put down... I don't think we have time for subtlety. Nah, we do. We do. As mentioned, I'm going to Grift Room 1. Oh, wow, them. Oh, I know what, what happened. Okay, let's Grift Room 1. Try to snag any problematic card like that a stone of Eric yeah perfect okay so we just need to find a land and a cascade spell a blue card for that subtlety on the card would also work I guess power plan let me get steam bends since we are going to use this for a greenland this is going to be breeding pool because there's a wall where we hard cast the saddle team like several turns from now they all also only have two lands which is few is uh, very few and very little so, so this thing will live in end like now let's say they go land relic okay they, they didn't but if they did am i supposed to cycle in response try to find um i will say it, try to find for some navigation or am i not supposed to do that i think here i have to wait huh Because Warping Whale is a card that exists, I may have to wait. If they play Karn, I just subtlety. Yes, I think I, I, I'm waiting. So I, I kind of really want to cycle this.
They may also not have a other land. It's Tron after all. Tron is not heavy on lands. Not only they have a third land, it's also the most annoying one. Okay, at least we have the subtlety. Now we just have to hope to draw... I imagine they put that on top. So we have log. Yeah, it's on top. I'm going to cycle this. <laughs> if they have warping well, we are dead. Come on. Really? Now what am I supposed to do? Oh, now, now we die, right? I... No! Again! They were the... The, the wrong order! <laughs> now we die. Karn, Tormod, Screed, we die. Oh, that, I feel like I got punished for every single choice I made, so... Also, I feel I say that a lot, so maybe I just make the wrong choices. Are they the wrong choices? I, I'm not even sure. Oh, 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 Chalice is different. Chalice we can beat, because we have cards that... Uh, that's our violent hours. I mean, we could beat a Chalice of the Void. I don't think we are going to, but we could beat a Chalice of the Void. We just need to draw Foundation Breaker. What is this? Okay, we are not beating anything. <laughs> okay, GG's. Well, well, could have played better at some spots? Maybe. But also, we did some very cool stuff beating really hateful decks. So that's cool. I hope you liked it. Living End is a hard deck to play. I would, like, yeah, yeah, cycling, 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 cascade, that's the easy part, but all the rest. Managing your free interaction, your cards that you want to cycle versus you want to pitch, that, that's a lot of stuff. So if you are planning on playing this deck, just go buy a Sodek Dead Guide or something and study it. And that's all for me today. I will see you tomorrow with another video. If you are you need more content, there should be a playlist up there. Bye.